another beautiful evening mm -hmm. taking shape. Live look at the last few minutes mm. of daylight with that time change, of course. But we were saying earlier mm -hmm. in the newsroom, I mean, kudos to 2022 for giving us a pretty spectacular fall season. No complaints, yeah. right? It's been a fantastic fall. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown is joining us mm -hmm. now. Unfortunately, though, all good things must come to an end. Absolutely. You know, I walked into the newsroom today uh, preparing myself for the complaints <laughs> that I was going to get from you guys. And you guys were very optimistic about this forecast. That's right. Yeah. Say, That's us. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier to tolerate knowing how nice it's been. <laughs> Very positive, Ashley. Yes. I mean, that's you, 100%. Right. And this forecast uh, looks fantastic moving forward as we will see uh, a great week. And then the weekend, probably not so great as we experience a bit of a cool down. Uh, 62 of high temperature for today. A very nice day for us overall. Looking outside right now, the sun is setting as our sunset now happens at 536. Um, we have a mix of sun and clouds out there. It's beautiful. We had a very nice day. Yes, it was a day above average. I mean, we should be in the mid to upper 50s this time of year. We made it to the low 60s today. Right now, 59 for Indy, 65 as we look at the south there in Evansville. These temperatures we like them. We like them a lot and we want them to stick around and they will for a while. Winds are light at the moment at five to 10 miles per hour. The wind direction has changed for us as we move forward in the forecast. I am expecting winds to pick up for your Tuesday. So tonight, if you're headed to the Pacers game, grab a heavier jacket. I think you'll need it at times tonight as temperatures fall from the 50s down into the 40s. But tomorrow, uh, another nice day. It's cold to start. Coat weather in the early morning hours as we start your day with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. I'm talking uh, numbers coming in at about 41 for Indianapolis, 35 for Kokomo, and about 36 for Lafayette. So numbers are cold tomorrow to start your day. Bundle up early, but we see improvement by afternoon. Election day forecast here. As you're traveling out and about tomorrow, uh, maybe you're headed out voting. If so, uh, in the morning, bundle up. By afternoon, jacket needed, and once we get into the evening hours, if you're voting then, uh, temperatures in the 60s feeling great. So great weather for tomorrow. No rain, no snow, just kind of nice, normal weather. And this week, we experience a bit of a warming trend. The warming trend is fantastic as we see numbers in the upper 60s on Wednesday, mild. Thursday, the pick of the week, the best weather day of the week at 72. And on Friday, numbers begin to fall off. Cooler air begins to settle in. Clouds begin to increase and moisture begins to increase in the atmosphere. There's a chance for rain on Friday, but the bigger story here is how cool it gets and how fast it gets uh, cold. Now, as we look at this forecast, so um, last weekend, this past weekend, upper 60s, 67, 68, this coming weekend, 30s and 40s, upper 30s, low 40s. So that's the big cool down. That's the colder air settling in. And for much of this forecast beyond the weekend, it looks more like this and less like this. So say goodbye to the 70s. I think we could see one more 70 degree day on Thursday before we settle into that colder pattern. Peterman Brothers, heating and cooling eight day forecast. So here we go. You'll notice the warm up on Thursday, the warm day. Uh, front slides over the area on Friday, bringing showers, storms, some cloud cover. Uh, but I'm not expecting severe weather. Cooler air settles in to start the work week next week. And we pretty much hold steady in the upper 30s to low 40s for much of next week, seeing below normal temperatures.